Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and thank you for joining me again. Now in the last episode you saw Javi uh, do a bit, bit of painting and uh, we did a bit of sound editing as well. Now the bonnet is here and Javi's here and we're going to paint the bonnet. So first thing we're going to do is uh, open the bonnet and see what we got really. We went for a fiberglass version. Are we ready? Ooh. Oh my lord. Oh, it's bare fiberglass, isn't it? Oh, it smells good. It's got that. Mmm. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. Now, this is one of the best quality fiberglass units you can buy. It's from GRP. And from what I'm told, this is as good as they get. Now, there is going to be a bit of work for Javi to do to make a fiberglass bonnet look like it's not fiberglass. Obviously, we're going to have to paint it, but there's usually, a, where they separate it from the mould, there's usually a few marks here and there um, that are going to need priming. They pre-drilled the holes. I didn't expect that. I bought a carbon fibre one before that some of you guys would have seen, and I had to drill the holes through carbon fibre, which I didn't appreciate. But this, is, this should also be lightweight so all you race car fans out there we could have the very first race car land rover oh the edges look great come have a look at this look at the edges that looks like a nice piece you know and it looks like it's been well prepped it looks like it's primed actually on the top i don't know why i'm ripping them off because they will kind of protect us let's see the money shot No prep. I don't believe this. That's perfect, isn't it? Hmm. We need a little bit of it yeah, like a, a sanding it sand. down, but but that's like insanely good. It's nice and like thick as well. It's a good. It's a good bonnet, and apparently, if you put checker plate on this, you can stand on this bonnet. I'm not going to say that we're going to do that. However, it's good to know that they've still kind of kept the hard wearingness about it. And that's going to make this build look so much better. It's going to make it look fresh and new. Obviously, the later Pumas had that kind of muscle car bulge to fit the taller Puma engine. Ours is a TD5 sitting over there, but it's going to give it that kind of modern look. Once Javi's done with all the paintwork, we've detailed it. The dog's chewing up the wrapper. Um, it's going to be great, and I'm really excited about this. This is one of my most favourite parts of this build, I think. Um, apart from what we're going to be doing mechanically, but I love the kind of visual stuff. A new bonnet is just cool as well. So uh, let's get straight to it. We're going to see how they put it. Basically, we're going to flip it over and spray all the inside first. And uh, well, we can kind of test fit this to the car and see what it looks like. So after a bit more of a, a closer inspection, I cannot express to you how good this carbon fibre bonnet is. I've seen carbon fibre bonnet, uh, carbon fibre, what am I talking about? fiberglass bonnets. I've seen fiberglass bonnets come, th come through here before and when you lift them up you can grab hold of it and twist it left and right and you get this bending happening. I'm telling you now this is not going to happen with this. This is solid this piece. At its probably thickest point which is roughly about here I've got about that much of fiberglass which is about half an inch something like that of thick fiberglass. This, this Honestly this unit is strong and it looks seriously good. I'll reserve my judgment until it's on the car and fitted. However I'm super impressed with it so far. The edges are clean, neat and tidy. Super happy. We, Javi's really happy with the way that this is prepared and ready for paint. We don't even need to do anything. We're just going to degrease it and throw base layer straight down onto this. Give it a de-dust. And we're away, really. And Javi, what are you going to wear? PPE. PPE. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Now, in my experience of fiberglass, it hasn't been very good. So I think it's wise to do a test fit of this bonnet before Haddy goes and paints it, and then we realise we've got an issue, let's just at least take this one off and lay it into position and just check the edges and stuff like that. And then, um, well, it might just fit.
pleasantly surprised. It looks absolutely perfect. It's the wrong colour, but it's good. There's no ripples, no marks. So we know we can paint it now. Let's paint it. Let's paint it. We're going to make some paint. One of the new lifts is arriving. We've already got the other one. And the guy's just taking it off now. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna wrap the headliner. Just what I have is grabbing some more base paint for the green 90. The, the headliner before was covered in, well, the, the owners had smoked, as you know, and it was all falling off and it stank. So we just ripped the whole thing off and we're left with the original fiberboard. I've just given it a quick coat of the fast fix glue and um, gonna lay some Alcantara over it. So after 150,000 staples flipping it over, we're left with the final product, which is this nice deep gray. Sometimes I usually go for black, but this time I just thought, don't know, keep it a bit more factory. We'll go for the kind of the deep gray. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Got all the curves really, really nice here. We've obviously got space for the sunroof. Just looks nice and smart. And Harvey is just in his paint suit. I've got some parts arriving. The dog's gonna go mad. Javi is going to be painting, well, he's going to be lacquering the base coat of the inside of the bonnet. And uh, you'll be pleased to know he's wearing plenty of PPE. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to come over, mate? Hello, mate. I'll take you on. I would take you on. I don't think he's listening. <laughs>
hopefully some of that lacquer flew off and stuck all to this red one because my red one needs some lacquer. It just fades. It's an absolute old beater. So before the people say, oh, what about the overspray? Well, that's, that's Jamie's car. He should move that. <laughs> but my red one, it, I, that's just the life it lives. It's just a, a complete true workhorse. It's used as a battering ram, a tow truck, a guard to stop overspray. It's just one of those Land Rovers. We taped the car up again and basically, Javi, why are we painting the wing tops? We are going to puff a bit of colour onto the wing tops uh, so it matches the colour of the bonnet. There we go. If we painted a bonnet brand new, it would stick out like a sore thumb. So in order to have this nice flowing colour and you think, oh, that actually looks original, we're going to paint the tops of the wings as well so that everything flows neatly and everything looks deceiving to the eye. Um, Luckily, Land Rovers have these very nice square cutoffs, so we can cut the edge quite nicely and then mop the rest of the car. So we're just doing the wing tops now. We'll have you. Wait, just a quick one. Are we not painting the whole of the wing top? No. Oh, we're just blending again? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we're just blending again. There you go. What about the scratches, though? I think if I was going to colour the whole wing top... Then it would look even weird. It would look weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's yeah, exactly why he's here, isn't it? There we go. It's a blend. It's a blend. I still find it fascinating that you can just kind of do that bit. And over here, it's original, but there we go. So what you've just seen me do there is Javi was just prepping the kind of the outside of the bonnet. It started to rain. Um, I did the headliner and then I put the tiniest, tiniest crease just around here and it just wasn't perfect. So I had to rip the whole thing off and redo it. Um, you probably wouldn't have noticed, but it's just one of those things that I like to kind of do. Um, redid it. looks absolutely perfect. I've done it in this nice grey, which I think will suit really, really nicely um, and complement the interior. So that's both headliners done. And we can pop them back in the car, but we're more interested in seeing what having to do in painting this bonnet.
remarkably well for outside. I mean, it's just rained, um, which has kind of kept the dust to a minimum. And then the sun's kind of came back out slightly. We do have a bit of a bug issue like this. It's been creeping around, but they haven't landed yet. So have you just mixed up the lacquer? We can try and make this whole thing and seal it in. And I guarantee that's when a bug will land. Um, it's just the way things go, but we'll deal with it when we come to it. So Javi's set all the base colour down, drop coated it just to blend all the kind of patchiness to it. It looks amazing. And the, we've got kind of perfect weather at the moment with the sun out. Javi's just running over it with a tack cloth before we lacquer it. Very, very risky doing a big panel like this outside because um, as you can see little bugs and stuff that fly around. It's really not ideal to be doing it. Um, and we're, we're fully aware that obviously if a bug lands in it, it's going to be very difficult, but we're just going to absolutely go for it and just see what happens, really. And hoping that the gods are in our favour. Javi's just running over the tech cloth. And, um, mate, I reckon lacquer it immediately right now. Yes. The sun's shining. Have you mixed the lacquer? Yeah. I reckon just go for it. Look, already. <laughs> Little bugs, am I? I'm on bug watch here. It looks amazing, it just needs to, we can't have any bugs land in it because that would just be trouble. Ooh. Second coat going on, so far so good. Okay guys, it's day two, and I came in this morning to this absolutely stunning bonnet. Really happy with the result that we got outside, kind of all the little bugs and stuff that fly flying around. We did have a few bugs that landed in it, and a little bit of dust and the rest of it, but Javi's kind of built up enough of the lacquer so that we can wet, flat and polish. I'm really happy with the result. It looks really, really good. It just needs a bit of refinishing, basically. But it's in the way at the moment, and we're gonna give it a test fit and see what it looks like on the car. Ooh. That looks so good. That looks really, really good. It's matched the kind of, obviously, Javi did his, his blend tricks. It looks really, really good. The paint is so glossy, it's amazing. Really, really good job. It still looks a little bit weird, but that's only because you can almost see the old car behind the new bonnet, if that makes sense. And once we've done a few, a little bit of trickery here and there, it'll look amazing. And I'm just super happy that we've gone for this new bonnet. Obviously, the only giveaway now, apart from all of the obvious stuff, would be the bulkhead. Those kind of flat panels and the old style dash would be your only giveaway that this isn't a Puma. Um, but really happy we chose this bonnet and really happy with the quality of the fit. It looks good. Um, the color match is absolutely perfect. You, you guys must be able to see this. Really, really good finish. And once it's cut, polished and the rest of it, you would never know that this is not a metal bonnet. So super happy with this fiberglass bonnet. I haven't had good experiences previously, but really, really happy with this one. And it just looks so much more modern. Once we've got this final image, this is gonna look so, so cool. And also in this box here is a little treat. We got the interior, which has arrived for this car. So super excited. Um, let's move on to something else. Hey guys, so as you know, the uh, the carpet set in this green 90 was just absolutely horrific. And um, everything stank of smoke. Everything was just dirty, filthy. And I've just pulled up the bulkhead piece. Um, we've got a whole new carpet set for this car and uh, it's gonna make a world of difference. And I've gone for the premium carpet in black so this whole interior is going to be replaced, it's going to be completely refreshed. I've done the, the headlining, obviously, in Alcantara. This is going to make a huge difference. So I just thought um, we'd pop in our front set. I've gone for the premium set, and it kind of is a very, very nice um, thickness. I've fitted a few carpets before, and I've got to say, already this one just feels like it's better quality. 
It looks thick, it looks the right color. I've ordered black before and it's come out slightly deep gray. This actually looks very good. They've provided instructions and a roll of kind of tape for the side seat box bits. But so far, impressed. Let's kind of separate it out and work out and, and try and fit the front set. Okay guys, so this is the front carpet set in. It looks so much better. There's still a little bit of tidying to do. I've left this side a little bit loose, only because when we run the wiring to some of the other parts, I'm gonna to need to lift that up and then I can finally glue it down. But it makes such a big difference to that kind of hard matting that was in there and that crusty old gray carpet that we had before. It already smells so much better in here. We still got the rest of the um, carpet set to fit and obviously we install our headliner that we wrapped. Hey guys, so I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, we got our Puma bonnet fitted. We sprayed the wing tops. We've got our front carpet set in. We've wrapped the headline Alcantara. This one's going to be coming along really, really fast, really soon. Um, in the next video, we're going to unbox our interior. Can have a look at that. Um, get the interior pretty much all to piece together. And we can get its final kind of image and see what it looks like. Really, really excited about this, and I'm really excited to get onto the exterior and see what we can do with it. But I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Please, as always, let me know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.